Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living. My name is Daniel, and this is kind of an unusual uh, video that uh, that I'm bringing for y'all today. Uh, but before that, uh, do me a favor, hit the, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because uh, you want to catch the next few videos that I got coming up because not only are we working on the well in this way, uh, we're also going to be putting in a hand pump that we're going to build ourselves. And I know y'all all want to see that. All right, so anyway, back to this video. Uh, I was having a problem with my well. It turns out that <clears throat> I didn't know this at the time, uh, that it was my well pump, but the pressure tank uh, was completely full. It, it, it had no air. And so I thought the bladder was bad on the pressure tank, so I changed the pressure tank and I had one in storage you know so that I had an extra pressure tank and uh, but then and not even uh, two days later that pressure tank went out I was like okay something must it was an old pressure tank must have been something wrong with it so I got another pressure tank and uh, that one went out and I was like something is wrong here this it isn't that so I came up with my own pressure tank and I built my own pressure tank and and that's what this video is about plus uh, I had to figure out what was wrong with the well after I changed the pressure tank now how I did this uh, this point PVC pipe here right here it uh, it used to be a solar hot water heater and this solar hot water heater, uh, it worked. It worked great. Uh, the problem is that the water got so hot <laughs> that it melted the PVC pipe. So and, you know this. You know you know me. I've been working on solar hot water heater, an instantaneous solar hot water heater, for for a decade now. So, but and you know I have my other solar hot water heater, but this was was just one of the steps that I took. Uh, you know, working on the solar hot water here. So anyway, I had this on hand. So anyway, I took a, uh, I, I had it, I'd used as much as I could, and you can see I made this about eight foot tall, you know, and I actually found some two inch pipe too. That This is all stuff I had on hand, and I used that too. But during the process, I, I needed something that would work as a bladder, it would hold pressure, as the water filled up, it would it would compress, you know, something there. So I use a swimming noodle, you know, a green swimming noodle. Kind of makes sense, you know, the green and everything. I went to uh, the, the Walmart and actually got the the green swimming noodles. The last one of the season. It was really lucky. It was, it was destined for this to happen. So anyway, I I connected it up with a union because I thought one day I would get another pressure tank because they're expensive so I would get another one one day and just use this temporarily uh, but then this started failing and I was like well there's no way that could fail you know it's got a noodle up there at the top it, it, it couldn't fail so I figured out it was my well pump so I had to pull my well pump and it turned out that the from moving back and forth uh, against the, the rock that's down there uh, because you go down and it's probably granite down there and uh, you go down there and it just kind of would scrub like this and it finally uh, rubbed a raw place in the wire and it was kicking on every time you know that it, did, it would happen you know uh, so it was just shorting out down there but I still have a wire. So anyway, I, I found the problem and I fixed it and I pulled uh, the pump out. And you know, I pulled the pump out uh, and I, I fixed the problem. Uh, but this is the way you, you pull the pump out. I used to work for a well driller, you know, back uh, ancient times, you know, this uh, feels like 20 years ago. Uh, and you just want to do it over a rounded, smooth surface. Uh, and I pulled it by myself. I, I pulled it with a truck, and I just pulled it out over, over this barrel. And so actually, uh, I pulled it over this barrel, and then I got it up, and and I was able to work on it. And then I had a friend help me put it back down in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, 
this pressure tank now that I got the well the 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 pump fixed the pressure tank works perfectly you know it works perfectly it could be bigger and and actually I would like to take a 55 gallon drum and through these little two inch openings put about seven or eight noodles up in there and then have a, a, one of these barrels uh, 55 gallon barrels as my pressure tank and uh, with, that's coming too I want to do that and then I'll have 55 gallons of water built up in the pressure tank and then and then all the noodles naturally they're gonna float to the top so they're gonna hold pressure as it fills up and it'll kick on and off the, uh, the pump here's here's a little bit of a brief uh, it turning on and off and uh, being able to work uh, at work and everything so it works fine uh, this is just part of my series about uh, knowing how to fix problems yourself and you know doing a little bit of research and thinking well what's wrong with it you know diagnosing the problem and finally figuring it out you know after you know uh, you try everything you, you work it out so you finally figure it out but anyway guys uh, I hope this helps I mean because it was very easy to build a pressure tank and they're rather expensive so uh, and this this one probably would have cost about uh, with all the fittings and everything probably about thirty dollars to build that's very economical if you don't have the money for for uh, one of the bladder tanks you know this will work temporarily till you can save money to get it or you know you could just use it <laughs> so anyway like I said uh, while this was all happening I did without water for for at least a week so I'm going to remedy that problem in upcoming videos I'm going to build a hand crank uh, DIY uh, piston pump I mean we're going to build the piston pump down there and then we're going to build a hand crank up here so if it ever happens again I ever have a problem again then I'll just have the uh, the hand crank and I won't run out of water and in an off-grid situation you know there's there's no power to be had or anything like that I'll have the hand crank and I can still feed my animals and I won't have to run somewhere to get water I'll, I'll have it so that's up and coming so y'all stick with me and I will see you on the next video Ani Ove Okja means I love in Hebrew later guys